was another big story this weekend appearing in the New York Times reports that Russian hackers not only got access to unclassified White House service, uh, servers last year, but also were able to check out some of President Obama's email to go in depth on this story. Let's welcome in our cyber expert, Stephen J.J. Weissman, an attorney, though we don't hold that against him, also <laughs> a professor at Bentley University. So the Russians hack in, and the White House said, oh, no, it's not classified email. Do, do you buy that answer? Uh, I buy that it's probably correct in the sense that it was not the classified system, but I don't buy in that that is just a, a minor matter. There is a lot that goes on the non-classified email system used at the White House. And one of the things that didn't come out as much in this story in the Times, how did they get to the White House? They got to the White House through the State Department, which they hacked into and are probably still there. So there is all kinds of information that and we believe it's the Russians. The president is not saying it's the Russians this time for a couple reasons. And one of those reasons is after his last executive order, this would kind of put him uh, on, the, uh, on the spot to say, well, if you've identified that it's the Russians who are hacking, what are you going to do about it? Well, and, and mindful of that, what should the White House be doing to secure their servers? Or can we be confident about any of, of the servers uh, currently in the service of our federal government. Well, you know, an interesting thing was the uh, Secretary of Defense uh, just uh, indicated a couple days ago that, in fact, the same type of malware that was attempted to be, it was attempted to be used against the Pentagon in the Defense Department that was successfully used against the White House and the State Department, but the Defense Department did a better job of protecting it. The key thing here is, and this is what all never comes out in the uh, in the stories is how do they get this sophisticated malware into the White House computers into the State Department computers and what they use is something called phishing or spear phishing where they send an email tainted with the malware that they lure someone at the State Department at the White House to click on that link in there and that downloads the malware so the training that is being done of the lower level uh, users of this system is not adequate. Beyond that, we have to assume that it will not work and so you have to have secondary systems so that people don't be clicking on this malware, not have that total interconnectivity of these uh, email systems. I mean, there's a lot of basic stuff we should be doing that we're not. So the bottom line is, it's, it's not like cloak and dagger. It's not like some double agent goes into the computer room and inserts something. In your opinion, they're doing this by just finding employees gullible enough to click on whatever it is that introduces uh, this, this eavesdropping program into the email, correct? One minute left. It it is. And you know, J.D., this is the biggest thing where with all the great sophisticated malware and tech we have, Sony, uh, Sony got uh, hacked in this way. J.P. Um, Morgan Bank got hacked in this way. It is this phishing technique and what we need is to have dual factor authentication before anyone ever clicks on a link because otherwise we're going to just keep repeating this mistake over and over again. Stephen J.J. Weissman. We always appreciate your expertise when it comes to the Internet. Thank you, sir, for Skyping in from Amherst, Massachusetts this morning.